Hi right, everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to give you guys a review of the Playbooks app on the Onyx Books T68. I showed it briefly in the main review, but I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, more details with the app to give you an idea how it runs. So basically, this is the home screen. If we go to the store, I found that the uh, layout and color scheme actually works quite well with ink. Um, you can like read everything easily, except for this one menu up here, but it just opens the settings and like a help area as you can see right there it doesn't actually show those but as far as the layout for the bookstore goes I mean it does show up well on the screen and you can easily read everything which is nice unlike some other apps where the um, it just doesn't work well with the layout like on the Kindle app it's sort of all crazy so let me go ahead and back into the go back to the library here and I'll show you some books how they work on this device So again, this is the home screen. We can go ahead and open the main library right here. You get your list, and you've got a couple different sorting options. All right, so let me go ahead and open this one and show you how things work on the Books T68 here. So these side buttons, like any other third-party app, they don't work because it's not hard-coded for, for them, but you can use these uh, buttons down here to page forward, and obviously tapping on the screen pages forward as well. Alright, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to like this book as much as the other one I had loaded earlier. Sometimes it crashes. Let me go ahead and jump pages here. It's not exactly really fast to load this particular book for some reason, but the features all seem to work okay. So, like, it has those cards that you pop up if you tap, like, one of those. The cards don't always pop up, but yeah, there it goes right there. And then you can, like, bring it up here if you want to check it out closer, launch the whole thing right there, so that's the little map deal with the Google Apps and you got the Wikipedia search right there and whatnot. I'm not going to open that up right now though. It just opens the web browser. Oh, see there we got a crash. So this app, it works okay, but I mean, it does crash. Especially with this particular book, I don't know why. Let's go ahead and open this other book, it doesn't crash. And it just loads faster. Alright, so like I said, the page buttons down here work. With the Playbooks app, it does that weird page transition because it has an animated page turn, so there's no way to turn it off. So it does like that weird sliding effect when you turn pages. So it kind of affects the clarity of the text a little bit, but I mean, it's alright. Let me go ahead and pop up the menu here. We can actually increase text, and you got the different themes and the different font types. So you can switch to the night theme if you want as well. I kind of think that it does a little bit more ghosting when you have it switched though. There goes the app again. <clears throat> Alright, so I can't exactly recommend this app on this device. It just keeps crashing for me all of a sudden now. It was working earlier, but now it just keeps crashing constantly. And it just seems to be slower for whatever reason. Alright, so let me go ahead and switch this text back. Seems to do a little more ghosting when you have it in night mode. Alright, so as far as the on-screen features, uh, like you hold down on a word, it does pop up the dictionary and the... pops up the dictionary down here, and then you got the option to add highlights and notes up here. We can add a text note. And you have to select save from the menu right there. Alright, so then if you just do that, you can do the highlights. That does the translate right there. You can switch to different languages. So that feature does seem to work, and it seems to be less crashy now all of a sudden. So this app does seem to crash a lot, like I said earlier, but I don't know. Once it gets going, then it seems to be a little bit better and doesn't do it as often. So we got the notes, bookmark sections, 
the table of contents. Ooh, another crash. Big surprise. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this view right here. I'm getting tired of all the crashes, so I can't exactly recommend this app on this device, that's for sure. Uh, but it does work sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes better than others.